Hi, I'm Thomas. I run LarryLaffer.net. A long time ago, when Sierra decided to close down their forums, Rudy, Collector, myself, and several others decided to band together and create these websites that would keep the Sierra spirit going. Sierra, to me, means a lot more than I could express. Uh, I have a long history with Sierra in a roundabout way. Uh, my friend Sean Quorum and his father introduced me to King's Quest 1. Uh, it was a four color version booted from the floppy disk, which was a five and a quarter. Um, and I was immediately enthralled with this game. I'd played other computer games, but they were pretty much stagnant images. Um, so when I played King's Quest 1, I was amazed. And then his father uh, one day called me and was like, hey, you might want to come over. We have this game from the same company called Leisure Suit Larry. So I came over and uh, I was immediately obsessed with the humor found in Leisure Suit Larry. It was right up my alley. I was a young adolescent teenage boy and everything that was in Larry was amazing to me. I was looking at pixelated nudity and it, it was amazing. And uh, so I really attached myself to Larry Laffer and I became a very, very big Sierra addict. Um, Sierra games were the only games that I would keep in pristine condition. You know, after I played them, I'd put everything back. My other games, I'd play it, you know, wherever the manual, if it got lost, so what, as long as it wasn't part of the copy protection. But that wasn't the case with Sierra games. I maintained all of them, put them up on a shelf, probably displayed them ever since I got them. I used to save my lunch money just so I could buy these Sierra games. Uh, there was time that both Sean and I were splitting the cost of Sierra games and we'd basically co-parent the Sierra games that we were purchasing. Um, there was a time that Sean and I thought in our youthful minds that we could design a game for Sierra. We'd come up with this great idea of this. We tried to think of something that Sierra hadn't done yet and they hadn't done anything with prehistoric stuff that we were aware of. So we came up with this adventure game of this guy named Duh Ugg. It's Duh Ugg, it's supposed to be Doug. Um, he's basically in this land that's um, frozen in time, basically, like the world around this area has continued. There's airplanes and cars and everything like that. And this character ends up getting frozen and then ends up on civilization. The, the BC quest portion, the BC stands for before civilization. So that's where our idea was. And we took promo photos and stuff like that. I'll go ahead and share those now. And we had sent those in and uh, they were kind of, Sierra was kind enough to reply to us and let us uh, know they don't take submissions like that and stuff like that. And that they had made a game called BC Quest based on a newspaper strip. Had we done a little more research, we would have found that out. Um, another thing that was really cool that happened with me and Sierra, Sierra did something different that a lot of gaming companies did not do. They also produced a magazine. Uh, the original magazine, I cannot remember the name of it, but it was eventually called Interaction Magazine. I used to write to this magazine all the time. I'm talking three, four times a month. Whether it was short stories, little pieces of art that I would draw and send in. And through that, I got to know, for lack of a better word, Bridget McKenna. She used to write me back all the time. And she was super uh, like enthusiastic. She you know, kept me going and it was like, you know, keep going, keep going. But Somehow most of my cartoons never made it in, despite all the great things she was saying. But then there came a day where I thought, you know what, I'm gonna take a silly little picture in front of my Tandy 1000 SX, dressed up in not a leisure suit, but as close as I could with a leisure suit, part my hair super deep on the right and try to basically mimic how Larry looks in Leisure Suit Larry 1 on the cover. So I took this picture, sent it in, and it was within a week I got a reply in snail mail. And they were like, I love this picture and we want to use it for a contest. So I immediately sent a letter back and was like, yes, please. So they ended up using that picture for a contest and it appeared in Interaction Magazine. And this is the result, the before and the after. Pretty silly, right? So through the Sierra forums that eventually came to be when um, the internet was born and no one was using BBSs anymore, uh, I went on the forum and got to know a bunch of people. Um, one of the people I got to know there was Jules. Uh, when I launched my own forum, I invited a bunch of people from various forums all to come on there, and Jules was one of them. And she and I got to talking a lot. And so um, when I wanted to go out to New Orleans, because I wanted to see stuff about Gabriel Knight, I discovered that she lived close to New Orleans at the time. So I thought, let's meet up. So we went out there and we actually met up and I had a really good time, got to hang, it, got to hang out with her. 
Uh, we did a lot of drinking <laughs> and we, we just had a lot of fun. And it was a really cool time and I'll share some of those photos real quick. So as you can see, it was an awesome, awesome time. I'm very thankful that I got to meet Jules in person. I always thought she was a super cool person already on the forums. Biggest heart you could possibly know. And it was cool to see that she was that way in person. It wasn't just an upfront personality that she had. Another cool thing that happened with me and Sierra was Sierra had launched a uh, online service. Uh, back then, originally, it was called the Sierra Network. I got in early on it. Um, it was part of the beta testing, all that fun stuff it eventually becomes something called Imagination, or In. And uh, one of my friends who was on Imagination was like, hey, I'm talking to this girl from California, which is where I'd grown up most of my life. And he was like, you should talk to her, she's super cool. And so I talked to her and we started talking, and she and her friend had visit, come out and visit once. And they were out for like a week, week and a half, and then they left. And then she came back, kind of hung out, said, hey, I just need to get away from stuff, some stuff that's happening. In California and I was like that's fine hang out as long as you want whatever take the bed I got the couch uh, she didn't leave and so what ended up happening is we ended up developing a relationship and eventually while we were together I proposed to her and she's now my wife and it's one of those cool stories because just last year we celebrated 20 years of being married so this is just a fraction of the stuff that Sierra's done for me it has given me creativity, it's given me community, it's given me friends, it's given me a wife, it's given me friends all across the world. Rudy I've never met in person, but now I've talked to him off and on for the last 10 years. Andrew lives somewhere in the States. I co-admin his site at Sierra Help. It's amazing what Sierra's done for me in terms of helping me grow. So I want to say thank you to Rudy for bringing me on here. This is, I think, the fifth take I took. The first one was like 26 minutes. Uh, I said, Rudy, let me redo it again. I'm sure I can talk less. That one was down to like 14 minutes. And this one I'm trying to get under eh, five minutes or so. So with that, with this brief summary of everything that Sierra means to me, I just want to say, ladies and gentlemen, save early, save often.